I'm Dustin Cormier, and this is the How to Rock Astrology audio series. The information in this recording is copyrighted by Dustin Cormier, 2015, all rights reserved, except where noted in the recording. The following information on ascendant or rising signs comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Guidelines to Interpreting the Ascendant Although the Ascendant is of deep and pervasive importance for each individual, there is no denying that it must be related to the rest of the chart, and especially to the Sun sign, in order to understand it thoroughly for a particular person. The Sun, after all, is the core identity, the very center of the consciousness, the way we assimilate much of our experience. Whereas the Ascendant, although it varies in importance from person to person, is not as central to the person's nature. It shows, among other things, the approach to life, but the sun shows life itself. The ascendant must serve the purposes, values, and creative goals of the sun for the individual to function happily and fully. A useful tool for understanding how a person's ascendant and sun sign interact is to compare the elements of the two factors. For example, a Cancer Sun sign person with a fire sign rising is usually far more extroverted, forcefully expressive, and confident than a Cancer Sun individual with, say, a more con conservative, self-protective Earth sign rising. For another example, an Air sign Sun person with a Water sign rising may appear much more emotional than he or she really is, whereas a Water sign Sun person with an Air sign rising may appear far more detached and less emotional than he or she really is. It should be pointed out that people are often relatively unaware of their ascendant nature as compared to their sun sign. In that sense, the ascendant is a factor that can be consciously developed further over time and consciously utilized to aid one's self-expression. I've known people who are relieved to find what their rising signs were since it finally gave them a way of identifying a very deep but only semi-conscious tendency in themselves. In some cases, the qualities and abilities symbolized by the Ascendant were just beginning to emerge, and learning the astrological keys to this factor helped personal development greatly. I should emphasize here that perhaps more than with most other factors in the chart, the early environment can encourage or suppress the expression of the Ascendant's energies, since it is a primary channel with which one interacts with the outer world. The reader should view the following comparative evaluations as guidelines and as questions to explore rather than as rigid statements of absolute truth. Aquarius modality or quadruplicity. The Aquarius modality is fixed, the determined energy mode. There are exactly four of these willful, determined signs in the zodiac belonging to the fixed modality. These include Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus, and they all share similar characteristics. These four signs are better able to focus and concentrate than the other eight signs. They share a deliberateness and a powerful ability to focus and endure, but they also share the challenge of avoiding stubbornness and closed-minded rigidity. The Element of the Ascendant the element of the ascendant reveals the quality of energy flow directly vitalizing the physical body and the overall approach to life. Fire or air signs rising tend to conduct energy, encouraging active self-expression and dynamic expenditure of energy. Earth or water rising signs tend to conserve and resist the flow of vital energies, and hence indicate self-containment, sometimes self-repression, and the tendency of living within oneself. Air signs rising, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Mentally quick and active, inquisitive, social, friendly, verbal. Often clever with rapid perceptions. Can be overly intellectual to the point of chronically debating everything inwardly without taking action. Wants to understand everything. Lives a lot in the world of concepts. Has a natural facility for communication and perceiving others' viewpoints. Aquarius Ascendant or Aquarius Rising An unconventional, rebellious streak pervades the personalities of both Aquarius Ascendant and Aquarius Sun people, but these traits go much deeper in those with Aquarius Sun. 
They are usually lifelong aficionados of the new, the imaginative, and the revolutionary, even if they don't express it overtly very often. Those with Aquarius rising often seem a bit kooky. Indeed, they often feel rebellious, but there is usually a stronger attunement to convention in them than is seen in most Aquarius sun individuals. Both types usually exhibit an immediacy of perception and understanding, a thinking speed and rapidity of learning that can be startling to their slower friends. Both exhibit a cold detachment that is frustrating and often shocking to more emotionally sensitive people. Sun in Aquarius seems to be more aloof and impersonal than his Aquarius ascendant. The traditional Saturn rulership seems to be stronger than the modern ruler Uranus and many people who have Aquarius rising. But the house and sign position of Saturn is it always important for all Aquarius ascendant people. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's classic text, Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Aquarius on the Ascendant. Very positive and masculine in personality temperament. Uncertain and sudden impulses, very intuitive, good mind, good in organizational ability, capable and practical, intelligent but often cold and calculating where feelings are concerned. If Saturn is strong by place, sign, and aspects, then the Saturnian caution, coldness, and selfishness will be accentuated. If Uranus is stronger, there will be much more freedom and free-flowingness. The things of the spirit will be stronger than the materialistic worldliness. Circulation of physical energy will be impeded if Saturn is afflicted. Too much rigidity in the psychological makeup and too much self-will will eventually manifest in the physical body as arthritis, especially in the spine. Rebellious tendencies need quelling. The following information comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign, by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Electric, magnetic, and friendly on a good day. Sour and di disagreeable on a bad one. Aquarius, the electric light bulb, is the Mr. Big Attitude of the Zodiac. People with Aquarius rising are funny boned, good fellows well met, with a best foot forward approach. They can be stiff-spined and argumentative. Today this, but tomorrow that. They do what they want to do and think what they want to think. They say no, but explain yes. How frustrating. Their words don't always match their message, but their attitude is always showing. They sometimes carry a, ship, a chip on their shoulder. These folks are wound tightly and are given to laughter to release stress, and their laughter is contagious in a positive setting and nervous if in disfavor with the people around them. Aquarius children can get on laughing jags even when they're in trouble, and for mom and dad it's sometimes hard to learn that this is simply the way the Aquarius child relieves his tension. Physical type. Whether unusually tall or unusually short, Aquarius' appearance is always unique. Favored colors. Shocking blue, bright yellow, something electric and vibrant. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. The Significance of the Sun and the Sun Sign in Astrology The symbol of the sun in astrology is a circle with a dot in the middle. This is a very deep occult spiritual symbolism. A circle represents the eternal self, that did not start here and does not finish here on earth. The dot in the middle represents the divine spark at the center of every living cell, the light which lighteth every man with which cometh into the world. It is the point of light at the center of every living cell. In the blueprint, the sun represents the main expression of the individual, the heart and core of beingness. The sun has a different effect on individuals born at different times of the year. According to the sign and house in which the sun is placed, we are able to judge the general vitality and physique, the qualities of leadership, and the individual's ability to succeed in life. In a personal chart, the sun represents 
the basic drive for significance, the will, male relationships, and female charts, especially with the father, vital energy coming from the etheric levels and prana, fuel on which the total personality operates, urge for power, constitutional strength, and finally, a powerful son means very great power to do and to be. Keywords of the son, will, individuality, spirit. The son is the significator of the spirit in man, the beingness or isness of life. It rules the basic drive for significance, the will to be. Physically, the son is the sustainer of life, giver of light, heat, and energy. More than anything else in the chart, it shows the will, man's highest expression. Its aspects show deep character traits, the chief ambitions. It needs aspects to the planets for strength of expression in the horoscope. As the sun moves through the signs, its return to the sign of its exaltation, Aries, the eastern horizon, marks the beginning of the astrological year. Springtime brings the release of a new cycle of life. As the sun moves through the houses, its return to the eastern horizon is the beginning of the astrological day, sunrise. The sun sign in its element. The following information comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. The sun sign's element is usually dominant in considering the overall psychology of a person. This is so because the sun sign's element reveals the attunement of one's basic vitality, identity, and power of self-projection, as well as the fundamental quality of his or her consciousness. The element of one's sun sign reveals the basic inner force motivating everything we do. The element of the sun sign also gives insight into how any individual sees life itself and what expectations they have of the life experience. Cancer's Sun Cancer is a water sign. These are the common characteristics of people born with the sun and water signs. Basically motivated by deep emotional yearnings and desires. Recharges energy through intense emotional experience and intimate involvement with people. Interpretive guidelines for the sun and cancer. Experiences strength through nurturing, sensitive, mother-like qualities. Feels instinctive urge to protect one's ego. Builds inner self a nest from which it can safely radiate. Levels of vitality and creative energy depend on moods and so are difficult to maintain. Expresses self creatively through emotions and feels need to be recognized for sensitivity. Sense of individuality is expressed most clearly in a familiar, sheltered environment or situation. This final article comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Cancer born early evening. Cancer with Aquarius rising. A thin-skinned cancer with an electric live-wire personality? Now that's a switch, but it works. Aquarius is the big attitude of the zodiac, so attitude is key here. A magnetic, friendly demeanor will work wonders, but a subconscious and unrecognized will to disagree can be devastating. If cancer, born early evening, is aware of and reasonably uninhibited by its emotions, the friendly, magnetic side of their Aquarius personality will blossom, making them a joy to be around and a very right-on person in their perceptions of people and things. But when Aquarius rises, there's usually a penchant for strong opinions and a love of defending them. So argument is their favorite indulgence. They think what they want to think and never mind the facts. Plus, with an unrecognized cancer emotions churning full tilt, they can easily become the sort of people who just won't listen to reason. They disagree tirelessly and pointlessly, basking in egotistical I'm right and you're wrong nonsense and coming off as sour pusses with a chip on their shoulder. It isn't that they should disregard their feelings to become cold, unemotional robots. Instead, they need to be diligently aware of their feelings to understand how those emotions are influencing their judgment. 
Their temptation is to keep their emotions separate and to dwell in them without ever really realizing it. With sufficient objectivity, these cancers can use their Aquarius, the electric light bulb personality, to garner success in many fields. They possess the qualities to be excellent promoters, enlightened physicians, or innovative engineers. Aquarius's inclinations and interests almost always make for especially successful firefighters, soldiers, and airline workers. Cancers with Aquarius rising are gifted at detecting error and quick to notice the shortcomings and weaknesses in the plans and designs they are assigned to work with. They take their duties seriously, hold themselves highly responsible, and expect the same from colleagues and associates. Cancer has little tolerance for a proposal that won't work. An Aquarius is keenly aware of the dangers of technology or any risky venture, so these folks are always on guard and most comfortable when every precaution is taken, guaranteeing that the project will come off without a hitch. If they see shortcuts being taken, they might well become whistleblowers. When Cancerians, born early evening, learn to trust their emotions without being enslaved to them, their professionalism is extraordinary.